Hello, I'm personal trainer Jesse Bird with the PSP team over at Four Wing Cold Lake and today we're going to do our workout of the day seniors edition. So for today's workout it's going to be 20 minutes long, we're going to do a 5 minute warm up, 10 minutes of a work phase and 5 minutes of a cool down. All you're going to need today are some comfortable clothes, some workout shoes, a little bit of water on the side and in terms of equipment we're just going to need resistance bands as well as um, a comfortable chair to sit in. Now if you don't have resistance bands you can also use soup cans or any other uh, smaller weights that you can find laying around the house. It'll be the same movements. All right. Um, oh and some benefits to today's workout. If you are a beginner to working out and you're just looking to um, get moving a little bit while at home, this one is going to be perfect for you. Okay. You don't need to be an expert. You don't have to have uh, you know a whole lot of gym experience. Just gonna go nice and slow, listen to a little bit of music, and have a good workout. Oh, and then that's the other thing too: is make sure you have some nice music playing to help motivate you through this. Okay, I'm gonna be listening to a little bit of classic piano myself while we're doing this. Okay, and with that, uh, we're just gonna jump right in here. So I'm gonna get our timer going here pretty soon, and just do the movements along with me. Okay, I'm gonna back up a little bit here so you can see me, and we're gonna jump right into it. So we're going to have a seat here and we're just going to jump right in. <clears throat> and our timer is on. Okay, so for our first movement, while we're sitting up straight and tall, we're going to have our arms up to our sides. We're just going to go all the way out and back in. Nice and slow and controlled. Good. Okay, now we're going to switch this up. We're going to use our arms to go overhead. We're going to start off here at 90 degrees, go right up overhead, just like that. Get the blood flowing here. Work up a little bit of a sweat. Get our joints moving. Excellent, excellent. Okay, so now with our arms, we're right after this one right here. We're just going to bring them down to our sides and do some bicep curls with just those arms. Good. Just keep breathing. Excellent, excellent. And again, we're just warming up those joints, getting the blood flowing. Good stuff, good stuff. Okay, so for our next one, we're going to do one arm at a time here. I'm going to stick my right arm up. Left arm on the back here, and I'm just going to go right up like that. Good, good. Just focus on this angle right here. Let that arm go through its full range of motion. Excellent. More here. Okay, now we'll switch to the other arm. It's always a good idea to warm up for a workout, even a nice light workout just to make sure that there's a much smaller chance of a risk of injury. It's just a good idea to get the body primed and ready. Good stuff. Okay, let's see how we're doing on our time. We're already two minutes in. We're going to keep this going. Okay, so now with our chair here, I'm going to come up to the side of it. I'm just going to hang on to it for a little bit of balance and start off with some high knees. So start off with that left leg, bring it up. Put that other hand on the hip if you like. There we go. Good, good. There we go. And we're going to switch here pretty soon. Excellent. Okay, now we'll switch. I'm just going to move my chair onto the other side, hand on the hip, and into these high knees. While you're doing that, make sure that you're still breathing. Nice and slow in, nice and slow out. Excellent. Couple more of these. Last one here. There we go. Now we're going to switch. We're going to do the same leg, but we're going to do butt kicks here. So just bring that heel up 
all the way to the butt, as close as you can. And again, we're just warming up our joints, getting them nice and ready for a good workout. There we go. Okay, I'm gonna switch to the other side now. <clears throat> Through these movements, if your joints are a little bit more vocal like mine and they make sounds, it's not necessarily a bad thing. So don't let that worry you, okay? As long as there's no pain, it's just an escape of gas from your joints. See how we're doing on time? We've got about a minute left here. Excellent. Now we're gonna start off. So we'll put our chair down. We're gonna do a couple of sit to stands. So we're gonna sit here, just like that, and go right up. Just a few of these. While you're doing these, you want to try to have no momentum, nice and smooth movements. Excellent. Okay, so we're just going to take a moment here to have a little bit of a break. We're going to have some water, and then we're going to jump right in with our first exercise. Okay, so have a breather, have a sip of water, and we do the same thing. So we've got a little bit more rest here before we jump in. Our first exercise we're going to start with are the sit to stands. These are an essential movement. It's very important that you're able to get up off of a chair at you know, any point of your life. So it's a good idea to work on these and practice as much as you can. The tricks to them, really what we want to try to do is to not use momentum. We want to go slow and controlled to give our muscles the most benefit from each rep, okay? All right, let's check our time. Perfect, we're gonna jump right in here, okay? So, I'm gonna just turn my chair to the side, there. <clears throat> just to kind of give you an idea of what I'm doing exactly, and just follow along at home, okay? Now, if you're able to put your chair up against a wall right now while you're doing this, that's the best idea, just to make sure it's the most stable, I'm gonna be extra careful leaving mine here in the middle of the room just to make sure that everyone can see me on camera, um, but just make sure at home that you do that, okay? All right, we're gonna jump right back into here. We're doing 10 reps, okay? Here, try to match my speed. Good. Breathe in, going down. Breathe out as you come up. Six, almost there. Last two. Excellent, excellent. Okay, so we just did 10 reps there of doing our sit to stance. What we're going to do now is rest for about 30 seconds, have a little bit of water, move around if you need to, and we're going to do one more set of those. I'm gonna grab a sip of water myself. <clears throat> okay. So make sure your tunes are still going. My piano keys are still flicking here, so I'm good to go. We're gonna jump right back in and we're gonna do set number two. Okay, here we go. Just like the last one. So we're going to sit at the end of our chair. Try to keep those feet flat on the floor. Keep your back as straight as you can. Build your tabletop with your arms. All right, here we go. Nice and slow. Breathe in on the way down. Breathe out as you come up. Halfway there. Keep going. Good 
We got two left here. Last one. Excellent. Okay, so I've just checked our time. We're gonna rest here for another 30 seconds. It's a good idea to grab some water, move around a little bit more. You need to open a window because now you're starting to warm up. Maybe you got a little bit of a sweat going on. That's okay, no worries. All right, we're gonna jump right back in. Our next one, we're gonna do something a little bit different. We're gonna dust off that old resistance band. All right, here we go. <laughs> All right, so our next one, is gonna be a chest press using the resistance band. The way we wanna do this is we're gonna wrap the, back, the band around our back about as high as it'll go. So that's at about armpit level, okay? So now with it in this position, I also wanna make sure that the band is gonna go this way down so I can grab onto it like this. If I grab onto it the opposite way, it's not going to be nearly as comfortable, which is important while we're exercising. It won't be as effective either. So make sure that you got it nice and proper, just like that. Okay. <clears throat> so with our band, we're going to have a seat here. Keep in mind, you can also do this exercise standing, but we're going to do this seated. Okay. So while we're in our chair, I'm going to show you the side view just so you can kind of see what's going on here. What I'm going to do while doing this exercise is I'm gonna pretend that with my arms out at the side, I actually have two flat counters at my side, okay? And I'm gonna just keep moving my arms right on top of that surface, that flat counter. So imagine I'm just dragging my arms on this flat counter, trying to keep everything leveled, okay? This might take a little while to practice. It's a technique, but just like every other exercise, the more you do it, the better you're gonna get at it. Okay, here we go. <clears throat> so while we're sitting up, we're going to breathe in and we'll breathe out as we push forward. Breathe in as it comes back and breathe out as it goes forward. Excellent. Just going to keep going just like that. At the very end, bring your hands together. The beginning, they're out at your sides. Slow and controlled, just like that. Keep it up. Excellent, excellent. So this kind of an exercise, this makes things like pushing open the gate in the backyard or anytime you have to do any kind of push, it's gonna make that just a little bit easier. Good, good, okay. And we're just gonna take a little bit of a break here and check our time. Excellent. We're gonna rest for 30 seconds, just like we've been doing. Same thing here. If you need to get up, have a breather, move around a little bit, that's all right. You do whatever you need to do. Have a sip of water and we're gonna jump in. We're gonna repeat this exercise one more time. Remember, this one's called our, uh, band, well, you can call this one banded chest press or chest press with the resistance band. You can call it a number of things. <laughs> All right. Oh, okay. Oops. No. Oh, pardon me. I just uh, spilled some water on myself, so just have to keep going, I suppose. <laughs> okay. We're going to grab onto our band, check our time real quick. We're doing great on time. So, with this band again, I'm just going to put this right on my back oh, as high up as I can. For this one, you know what I'm gonna do? I'm just gonna turn the chair so now I'm facing the camera. So you can see what it looks like up front. Okay. So, my feet are flat. I'm gonna sit with my back as straight as I can. The arms at the side on that countertop, the imaginary countertop we talked about. Ready? And together, just like that. Out to the side. Good. Breathe in as it comes down. Breathe out as you push away. Good stuff. Excellent. 
Excellent. We're almost there. Two more. Good. Nice and slow on the return. Excellent. Okay. Doing good on time. We're just going to rest here for 30 seconds. See, isn't this whole thing flying by? And you know what? We've only got one exercise left in our work phase here, and then we're going to cool down. You know, this one is nice. This is a, a, a nice low impact kind of a workout. You know, it's perfect to boost your energy and perfect for at home. All right. So I hope you've had a sip of water. We're going to jump in with our last exercise of the day here. Now these ones are seated low rows with a resistance band. And what I'm going to do is I'm going to put the resistance band. Oh, I'm just going to back up for a moment so I can make sure I can make sure you get to see what I'm talking about. So with our resistance band, I'm going to try to find roughly the center. Put my feet down onto the floor here. There we go. Now with your foot placement, you can have your feet a little bit closer together and that's going to give you just a little bit more range out of your resistance band or if there's too much range you can also spread your feet out a little bit there we go and you can adjust a little bit harder just make sure that your band isn't too tight you don't want it breaking at all you should be able to tell when too much tension is too much there should still be some stretchiness to it okay now these ones our first round here i'm going to face the side just so you can really see what's going on here. Okay. All right, here we go. So I'm gonna put this band underneath the feet. I'm gonna start off, I'm gonna keep my feet pretty close together for this one. Same thing as the other exercises though, I'm gonna keep my back as straight as I can. With this one too, the, my arms, the upper part of my arm, I'm gonna try to keep that as tight and close to the body as I can. I don't want my arms to be flailing out to the side. I want to keep them nice and close. Okay, here we go. So down, grab that band, and here we go. So breathe in as your hands move forward. Breathe out as you pull back. Thirty-five. Good. We're halfway there. Eight. Two left. Excellent. Excellent. Okay. So we'll return to our start. Check out our time here. We're doing good. We've got thirty seconds to rest. And then we're gonna do one more set. Okay, so you guys know the drill by now. Grab some water, make sure your music's still good. And we're gonna do our last one. So for our last one, we're gonna be facing all you beautiful people. You can see what this exercise looks like from up front. And again, remember this one is seated low rows done with a resistance band. Oh, and keep in mind, if you have a different type of resistance band, if yours is more of the, a tube, you can still do all these same exercises with it. All right, okay, let's see our time. Oh, it's exercise time. Here we go. So we're just gonna throw this underneath the feet once more. Okay, take a nice deep breath in. And then as you breathe out, you're gonna pull back, breathe in as it goes forward. And breathe out as you pull back. Breathing is very important while you're exercising. Once you build those habits of knowing when to breathe in, knowing when to breathe out, just makes everything much more easier. It also adds to that therapeutic effect of exercise. Good, look, we're already halfway there. Come on, we've got five more here. Up. We're just about there. Come on, give me one.
One more for good luck. Excellent, excellent. Nice and slow return. So this exercise is great for practicing any kind of pull movement. So if you think about grabbing groceries from the back of your car and pulling them out, it's going to make things like that just a little bit easier, a little bit more manageable, and you know it's going to help so that you're not going to put yourself at risk for injury or anything like that. Look at that, the work phase is already done. So now we're just going to cool down with a couple exercises. Our first one, we're going to knock something over there. We are going to work on some deep breathing. Now, what we're going to do is I'll just count. I want you to inhale, we're going to pause, and then exhale. Okay? Nice and simple. This is very effective uh, to cool down because we're going to slow our heart rate down by slowing our breathing down. Okay, here we go. So inhale for one, two, three, and exhale for one, two, three, and inhale, two, three, and exhale. Good. Again, inhale. And exhale. Let's do that again. Inhale. And exhale. Good. Already you should feel your heart rate slowing down. Our next one, we're going to work on our posture just a little bit. This one you can do every single day. And I know anytime that I'm working at my desk for long hours, this one really helps me out. So what we're going to do, I'm going to show you just a little bit of a side view so that it's just a little bit easier for you to imagine what I'm doing and to, to follow along with what I'm doing. With our shoulders, we're going to bring them up to about the ears and then we're going to slowly do some different things here. So we're going to start off with that first movement. Taking those shoulders and bringing them up all the way to the ears. If you notice any kind of clicking or creaking, that's okay as long as there's no pain. We're just going to hold here for a brief moment. Nice slow breaths. And from here, we're going to round those shoulders as far forward as they can go. Again, there shouldn't be any pain. Nice slow breaths. Next, we're going to repeat that first movement, bringing those shoulders all the way up to the ears. them backwards so up towards the ears and then pull them back think about squeezing your shoulder blades together as tight as you can if this one feels too intense for you pull out earlier if you need to or if it doesn't feel like a good movement for you you don't have to do it that's okay but it's all going to make sense in a second here Next, we're going to do the first position one more time. So bring those shoulders all the way up to the ears. All right, now here's the magic. What I want you to do is to just relax your shoulders and let them fall down naturally. Now, where they are right now, this is a neutral position. This is exactly where we want for our spine. This is going to help things like back pain. Anytime you need to do that to kind of realign yourself, go right ahead. It just takes a few moments, just like that. Wow. And look at that. That's already our whole workout. Now, 
You certainly did a lot today, and I want to thank you very much for joining me on this workout. As you can see, it just takes a little bit of time throughout or out of your day, and you can do it right at home with next to no equipment. Thank you very much for joining me. Again, I'm personal trainer Jesse Bird. You have a great day.